Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the show. Today is gonna be a product review for one of our most popular vehicles that we do, a Jeep Wrangler. This one happens to be a JL, which is important. But before we get started... Brando. Welcome to the show, guys. Now, a lot of you guys have these, and we got a piece that we've been using now for a couple years. We wanna share it with you. Hopefully you guys like it as much as we do. Let's get started. We work on a ton of Jeeps, as you guys know. With the current JL Gladiator JT, finding a place to put the amps was a bit of a struggle because they changed the whole seat and how it works. Anyways, our good friends at Metra have come out with this amp rack. And we've talked about it before here and there, and, and we've never done this video, which we wanted to do, because now it is available just as the amp rack. In the past, you could buy it, and you still can, with power wire and fuse holders, a two amp kit, a one amp kit, and all those fun things but now they've packaged it just the metal amp rack by itself let's open it up and take a look at it it's a piece of metal it's not just a piece of metal so this is it here also in the box is this instruction manual in case it isn't like hey this is how this goes in they do give you their tech support number in case you're having difficulty or have any questions but the most important part is this guy right here where it says tools needed this is going to use a t50 torx bit and i can tell you from working on jeeps as much as we do they are a bear to get out they put loctite on them and these are newer jeeps which are good because they haven't had time to get wet and rust and all that fun stuff but even still it's a, uh, to get these things out if you have an impact of some kind i do strongly recommend using it along with an impact safe bit opening it up it just gives you the basic layout of where they'll go it is a universal fit it'll fit on drivers and passenger side brief description of what it looks like how you're going to get to it. If you're a Jeep guy, Metro is your friend. They make a bunch of products for Jeep. One of the newest products to make, which I'm really excited about, is the new cut-in front panels for the front speakers, but that'll be another video that we'll talk about that. The side profile of it, it raises the amplifier up. This is the back of the vehicle. This is the front of the vehicle. If you got that really big dude in the back seat, he's not kicking your amplifier. His feet are going to go here underneath it. It has two bolt-down locations, one on either side. These are the rear seat bolts, and then these two feet rest on top of the carpet. There are provisions along the top and bottom. However, most of the time you're going to be using an amplifier that is maybe smaller or isn't going to fit in these and you're going to drill your own holes. We've also taken this as a template and mounted a piece of plastic on it. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this. There is some room to come up. In this situation, we're going to be using a monoblock amplifier. It's going to sit just like this on it. We'll drill four new holes and run our power wire down. The nice thing is, is right in front of this seat is an area for the wire to come in. Let's not talk about it. Let's head over into the vehicle. We'll unbolt the seat and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's take a look under the seat. This is the carpet seam here, the big AC vent. There's plenty of space to run wiring all through this area here. One of the really cool things I like is this bolt here over by the center console. This is a factory ground point. Use this factory ground point. There's no reason to drill holes into the floor of this to let more water in. It gets enough all on its own. It's a great place to ground it. You can easily get up the center console through this area for all your signal, but the amp rack just sits in here really nice. The easiest way to get the amp rack in is, believe it or not, not this method. I find it easiest to get the amp rack in by sliding the seat all the way forward so that you expose the two rear frame rails. Push the seat up about an inch, bring your amp rack underneath, and set it back down. Goes right into place nice and easy. All your wiring will be positioned forward to go in through these holes that are located all throughout the bottom here. And you can easily put your two seat bolts back in. As you can see here, the seam lines up with it. You have your place to run your wires through up underneath the vent or around the vent or up the side because this carpet all folds up. What we typically do is run our signal wire this way and then just our power wire sub wire along this side of the vehicle to head towards the back and of course towards the front An empty amp rack is going to sit here just like this there's plenty of height above it let's see what it looks like with the amplifier on it and the wires in place let's take a closer look our wires can easily tuck into there there's our ground point power wire comes along here goes into the firewall here's what that looks like 
top down view everything is tucked neatly out of the way let's look at it from the back side as you can see there is plenty of room feet can go up underneath there no problem not going to hurt the amplifier however they can also sit here nice and easy this is with the seat slid all the way forward and this is with the seat slid most of the way back the floor piece goes to right about there it is not taking up any room anywhere here on the floor and i think that's pretty cool and it keeps it nice and off the ground so even if there is water that gets in here because this is a canvas top the amplifier is not sitting on the floor and it is kind of tucked up underneath in the seat there up and out of the way if you have a jeep wrangler jl or gladiator jt jp 18 amp dash b r k t is the piece you're looking for from our good friends at metra we hope you guys enjoyed this as always. Fernando. On to the next one, guys. You guys have a great night as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.